So, like I said, we're fortunate it's very hot today. It Make it help with the drying. But no, I will not be having this kind of cement anymore because even them don't like using it. The lads, I mean. So this is the brand of cement that I'm complaining about. The one that I usually use is this brand. Brand. But they don't seem to have the supply around Cebu lately. So this is why I'm lumbered with Mabuhay cement, Mabuhay pozolan, in which the color it looks like mud. It has to be wetter because it won't come out of the mixer. Today is September 7, 2020, and it's not really a nice day because you can see the dark clouds glooming up the sky. But we were hoping to pour the floor of my storeroom today so I could see and I'm expecting the guys is preparing for it. I've seen them some carrying along rebars towards the storeroom. So hopefully it will not rain today. So you can see here that the guys are preparing for the flooring. They put the rebars and hopefully we can pour this today which is what we plan to do for this day, Monday. And as you can see here, like, like I shown you last Friday, we are preparing the flooring and I'd like to um, answer that comment that I should not be exposing the rebars like this. Actually, we are not finished yet. This is not the finish of the building. Um, this in-between columns that you see where the rebars are exposed, we still have to be poured. And by the time that we'll be finished, if you're looking at the walls here it will be like that it will be rendered and painted it's not gonna be left like this so please anyone can see that we are not finished like do you think this flooring is not gonna be poured just like that nothing no rebus will be exposed and with this one we will pour the in-between columns before we even pour the beam on top of the of this wall so no we will not be exposing these rebars like this and here we will be doing the flooring and then we will continue on to the last bit there on the back that where Janelle is file the blocks and then in here as well where Jarell is for the door and before we put the header beam so I got some of the plants that I bought yesterday for my BPP you got the Chinese bamboos on the back and some of this bush like hedge, hedge and then the Christmas trees that I want to line on the slope road we call that the Christmas trees because during Christmas the people put serious lights on it. And a few of this Alogobia collection that I do. So now the loy has sucked most of the sand and gravel. You got the gravel on the other side. There. And where the blue covered thing, that's the cement. So he's doing the sun right now. Our mix for this one is one, two, three, one cement, two sun, and three gravels. Basically, the sun. He's looking for his um, 
pilih dah wajah Nair Lila dia Kena Rudi lah Yang duduk dalam kuaya That, that piece of wood that they will smooth out the cement because I'll be tiling the actual floor as well after rendering so I got um, Nanay Ili and Nanay Arlin here cooking the food for the guys later for lunch that's the uh, pork knuckle stew that they like with rice so you know the the work will be heavy they like their um food you, you give them free food that will be like an incentives for them this is still the rice they haven't cooked the for pork yet so they're helping the loy now to suck the sand so it will be non-stop just mixing so here you can see the line that they have for where the flooring line will be it's almost like a hollow block line So here we are. They're putting the rocks on that side first, you know, where they're gonna start pouring. Because if they put the rocks now, so it, look, it lifts up the whole matting. Because if they're gonna put the rocks now, we're struggling to put the wheelbarrow over. So they have start the pour. They're now on the second mix. So you can see we pour it. It's almost, the thickness of the flooring is almost one block. It's like an inch before a whole block size is. So you can see how thick is the flooring. And we pour it with using the vibrator. So the cement is compacted. I just go a little bit closer on the side so I won't be out on the way. So two are carrying the muck towards here and then Junelle will stay here to level it up and also put the spacing as they go backwards put the spacing underneath from four of these rocks here because if they put the spacing now they won't be able to put the those plywood or the wheelbarrow will cart it over there so it can go straight on so this is the reason why we pour it on the ground because the loy can just continue on mixing while the one that carries the wheelbarrow can carry it to their capacity. Now if one wants to have a break, it will not hold up the mixing. It can just continue on mixing and you can see we had it a little bit wetter because we got a problem with the cement, this Mabuhay Posulan is so sticky that it will not even come out of the mixer so well and so since we're flooring now we had it a little bit stickier to have it more easily slid off the wheelbarrow so look Jurel is bigger than old Lito so he can carry more muck than if I have had the loy holding on and pour it direct to the wheelbarrow that will break those blokes back now he can just continue on mixing and if Junelle wants to have a break it don't make a difference like I want to have a pee but we can continue on so my job now is to just carry the broken rocks for the spacing see what I mean he can carry full load of the muck, whereas old Lito can carry only half. So it does not break the mixing well, or holding on to the, rib, to the mixer, breaking his back. 
So if they can ha want to have a rest, they can rest. And this has worked for me. Then putting it direct to the mixer, like what you do there, it will break the my lads back because you only you only got a one wheelbarrow mixer. I mean one wheelbarrow, not two wheels on this wheelbarrow. And if he is gonna be pouring it direct, like I said, he's holding on just to make sure it's on the wheelbarrow. 500 pounds of aggregate cement. That's one, two, three mix. So that's about 500 pounds, I estimate, plus the weight of the metal that he's gonna hold on to to make sure it's on the wheelbarrow. This one, no one's back is hurt. They can have a rest if they want to. That's why I told them. So the lads will just have a quick lunch break, like half an hour, because the ladies have already cooked the um, food. So what you're seeing here is the, you might think that it's a bit wet, but we, I am struggling with this uh, brand of cement. I always, like I said, I always use Posulan, and it should be Grand Posulan. But we don't have the stocks around. Gran is not delivering it here in Cebu. So I'm lumbered with this Mabuhay Posulan. And I've noticed that with our mix before, it don't come out of the mixer. So we have to put more water. So I won't be having this brand again because it looks like mud. And look at the color of it. And we have to use more cement now because we have to get a, a little bit wet so it will just flow out of the mixer, flow out of the wheelbarrow. But luckily we are very hot today so it will dry immediately. Like look at that one on the first one that we do. It start to dry up a little bit now. So this brand of cement, I have to tell you that it's mabuhay. Uh, it's, I, I could say crap. Now we are on 21 bags and old bee just come out and inspecting and why there's no spacer as it do see those rocks. We put the spacers as we go backward because if we put the spacer beforehand, the wheelbarrow will be struggling to go over. So as we go backward, we put a spacer of these rocks and that's my job to carry those rocks in here. And Old B lose 1,000 pesos last time, in which I have paid for the lunch of the guys now, out of his 1,000 pesos, and he don't want to gamble this anymore. But for me, I estimated the whole job today will be around 42 bags. So that's 21. We're halfway through. So 42 bags is what I estimate this to be. So they are having lunch now, including the ladies, Nanay Arlene and Nanay Illy, and Victoria, the wife of Jarell. So the three Marys are here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dili na kay hangol ting okay. Nana jud sudla na sa boat arong. So I bought some new plates cuz last time the soup is on the plat plate. So this is what we are so far on our 30th bag of mix. So you can see we're putting on the spacers like I said as we go backward. So all the cement will be under the matting of the rebars so the rebars will stay in the middle so that's 30th bag and we're still have a few more to go maybe a quarter more to go of the whole length but we'll be there so my estimate will be about 42 bags so maybe more or less on that one with like 43 or 41 but that's my estimate on it now. So you can see how thick is our mix. 
one two three mix but the this mabuhay cement is really crap i mean since i've been using tahiyo cement gran this is look like the color i don't like and the mix is so sticky that we're gonna have to use more cement because we have to use more water so it will come out of the mixer So we are now getting nearer and nearer to the doorway which will be the end and as you can see we put another rock spacer there as we go backward and hopefully we will not reach six o'clock like they estimated it to be I told them it won't reach six o'clock but they're the ones insisting on it So it's just quarter to two o'clock see we're almost there and they will still have time to like do the finishing on the top like rolling ro rodelia they call it just smoothing it out so this is such a thick flooring but this is what all be wanted six inch instead of the standard four inch and he won't bet on me on this one anymore <laughs> he knows that i know what i'm doing have you noticed he don't interfere so much in here good So we are now getting nearer and nearer to the doorway, door opening, which is the end of the flooring. So it's a well vibrated floor. Like I said, I always use vibrator whenever I do cementing, column, beams especially floors so it's um so I know that it's well when it's well vibrated I know that the flooring is strong the concrete is strong Because even this one, the driveway is all around my property. It's all well vibrated concrete. So this is now the 34th bag. And hopefully I was wrong of my 42 estimate. But 34 bags now. So our mix, I said, one, two, three. One cement, two sands, and three gravels. Jurel can carry more than what Julito can carry. So that is the reason why I don't want it to be poured directly to the wheelbarrow because I don't want him, the loy to be holding on to the mixer and break his back and also if anyone wants to have a break it's not going to be affecting the 
routine. Kilid-kilid. So the law is is looking up here. We're now on the edge of the where the doorway is. If you can see it there. So the law was estimating this to be another two mock mix. So two one two three mix, and then we're done. Hopefully, but I I don't reckon it will be. It'll be about three because it has to be there where the doorway is. Biscuit. <laughs> So we have reached the end of the line, which is the opening of the door for the doorway, and guess it's only thirty six bags, not forty two like I like ex expected so which is good anyway it's not then 42 it's 36 bag in total so they are now trying to get all the muck on the side of the mixer because you can see that they need one more spade here in the corner to make it all leveled up So you can see 36 bags of the 6 inch flooring in the 1, 2, 3 mix.